We're going to draw a floor plan starting on at one fourth inch scale. So let me go ahead and write my scale down here at the bottom. My scale is going to be one quarter inch equals one foot. So our one quarter inch on our architect scale is going to look like this one quarter. And we're going to go from zero, and then we're going to, you know, measure using our one quarter inch scale. We always start from zero. Now, we need the floor plan to be very straight on our page because we're going to continue this floor plan to make our elevations and our sections. So once we're done with this drawing, this is not the last time that we're going to see it. So, let's see. Let's kind of just center it on our paper. So I know I'm going to want 0 to 20 right here. So I'm just going to kind of put it right here. Zero. And we are going to want to go all the way to 20. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay. So I'm going to grab my triangle. Line it up at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to line up the bottom of my triangle to that paper. Um, and I'm going to start at 20. Oops. And bring it all the way down. You can see that my line was kind of underneath it, but that's okay. Because I know I just stopped in that area. So let's just make sure it is 20 on our 1 fourth inch scale, 0 to 20, that looks out. Now we're going to go up 15, so 0 to 15. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We don't want 16, but we want 15, which is that one right in the middle. So just mark where it ends. We're going to use our triangle. Line it up with the bottom of the paper. Right there was 15. So now we have a perfect right angle. You see? And now we also want to go up 15 on this other side as well. One fourth inch scale. Remember the 15 was in between the 14 and the 16. And then obviously. Zero. Line up the triangle. And go up. And now we want to connect them because it's going to be a 15. It's going to be a 15 by 20 rectangle. So I'm going to line up the triangle and connect my lines. And there's our 15 by 20 rectangle. Okay, now we're going to do our wall thicknesses. And our wall thicknesses for usually an exterior, for the exterior walls in a home is 6 inches. 
So if we look at our 1 4 inch scale, our inches are on this side, and basically from the 0 to the end is 12 inches. So, or 12 inches or 1 foot. So, half of that, if we have 12 right here, half of 12 is 6, so our wall thickness will be from the 0 to the 6 inches. And remember that this is 12 inches, so half of 12 is 6, 0 to 6 inches. So I'm just going to go mark my 6 inches, and I'm going to draw the thickness. Always line up with the bottom of the paper. And now I want 6 inches this way on our 1 4 inch scale. Here. I'm going to take that all the way over as well. And then I want my six inches here. Mark it. Line it up with the bottom of the paper. And then six inches on this side. And now we have our exterior wall thicknesses. Now we're going to draw one interior wall. And our one interior wall is going to be seven feet from this inside point. So we're going to start at the zero. We're going to go to 7, 0, 2, 4, 6, we don't want 8, but we want 7 right here. So let's go ahead and mark our 7. And let's bring that line all the way down to the end. Or actually... Not all the way down. We'll keep it till around here. And I think we're going to go, let's do, um, let's do a 7 by 7. So let's grab from this point right here, we're going to start at 0. We're going to go down to 7 as well. 6, 7. And now we're left with this. Now our last thing, since these are our only interior walls, we do need the wall thickness. And our interior walls are going to be 4 inches. So let's go back here. We know that 0 to this point was 6. And now if you kind of go back, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you count all the lines, there's um, 6 in here. So we just want four, one, two, three, four, which is a little after this halfway point because half of six is three. So we want four and it should be slightly after that. Again, it's going to be such a small, such a small thing to get precise. So you can't be 
too precise with it because it's such a small measurement. So let's attempt to get about four inches. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw on the outside of it. Or actually, actually, let's make this easier on y'all. We're just, we're just, we're just going to stick with six inches. So let's do a six inch wall. Sorry, zero to six inches. And then zero to six inches. And again, we're drawing on the outside of the lines that we just drew. Six inch walls. So now we have our six inch interior walls. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing doors and windows. And doors and windows, um, especially doors, have really common sizes. So any exterior door is usually three feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw our first three foot door. And what I wanted to do is I want to be two feet, well, zero to yeah. let's make it one foot actually, one foot away from this inside corner. So let's do zero. inside corner to one so that's where it's going to start and to be one foot away from this inside corner now we do want our door to be three feet so what's going to happen is from that corner that we just made we're going to go zero to three Zero, one, two, three. So I'm going to take this triangle and go up three feet. And this is from this point right here to this point right here is three feet. So the reason why I brought down this little line is because now that the door is three feet, when it swings, when it swings back like that, it needs to be that same opening as this. Because if our three foot door is like that, then it needs to sit inside that three foot opening. So we're going to get my one fourth inch scale. And now from this point that I made, all I did was bring it down. You can even do it from here, it doesn't matter. Zero, one, two, three. We're gonna mark it at the three feet. And then we can just bring it down. And now we have to erase what's in here. because that's our door opening. So let's verify that it's three feet one more time. Zero, one, two, three. Perfect. And now we need to make that door swing. So that door swings the curve. Let's just take our time. We're gonna freehand that curve. And that's our door swing. Okay. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw um, one more door to get inside this little room that we made here. And we're going to draw this door now like this, so to where the door is opening right here. So what I want to do is we're going to start this door six inches away from that corner. So remember six inches is that zero to six right here on our one fourth inch scale. So I'm going to do zero to six inches. And now interior doors are, are smaller than our exterior doors. So a basic interior door can be two feet, six inches. So we're going to draw this door at two feet, six inches. So on our one fourth inch scale, we're going to go zero to two feet. Zero, one, two, and we need this six inches. So instead of going to three, we would just stop right here at this line because that's our six inches. Two feet, six inches. You can also do check it by if you just want to, if this is confusing you for any way, you could do the two feet and you can go on top and add an extra six inches. But Hopefully you understand it like this, because it's in between three and two, so that's two feet six inches. So line it up and go all the way to the two feet six inch mark. And now again, I want to find the opening. So we're going to do 2 feet 6 inches, 0, 1, 2, and we're going to go up 6 inches. So that would have been 3, but we don't want to go the full 3, we just want to go 2 feet 6 inches, 2 and a half. So there's the ending, and we bring these lines down, and now we can erase that opening. And then we're going to take our time and do the door swing. And that's our interior door. Now we're going to begin drawing windows, and windows are going to be um, starting on this side, and we're going to start a window two feet from this interior point. So on our one fourth inch scale, we're going to start at the zero, and then we're going to go over two feet, and that's where our window will be starting. And this window is going to be three feet long, so we're going to go zero. One, two, three. We're going to mark it. We're going to draw another window two feet from here. Zero, one, two. And then another three foot window. So, zero to three. Zero, one, two, three. And we're going to draw those windows. So all you have to do is really just bring down the lines. Make sure they're straight. And there's our two windows. You can draw a little line inside of it. And that just kind of shows the window. And then you're going to draw a little line through it. So let's just go ahead and 
line this triangle up with the bottom down here and I'm going to find the middle and I'm just going to draw a light line all the way down in the windows only, not the walls, just the windows. You see? Window, window. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a window on this wall as well. So I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to find the center of the inside wall. So the center of the inside wall is if we have 0 to 14, that would be 7. So I'm going to mark the center for me. And I'm going to go over from that center line, 0 to 2 feet. And again, from the center line, I want it two feet on the other side as well. So two, one, zero. So I'm going to just disregard that because that was just to help me find the center. I'm going to bring my lines down on each opposite end. And again, like we did over here, just do the little lines. And then let's find the center of this by putting our triangle at the bottom. And let's draw a white line through that window. We're going to go ahead and put one more window in this little room over here. Okay, I'm not too sure if I recorded this part the window but all I did was I found the center between 0 and 7 which is 3 and a half 0 3 and a half which is 6 inches 3 feet 6 inches and then once I found that center point I went one foot off 0 to 1 and then I also went 0 to 1 again on the other side. So eventually we have a 2-foot window that's centered.